What's up, Sagittarius? Kings, queens, and everything in between. I'm Austria of Unbothered Queen, and today I will be channeling the collective of Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, and Mercury in regards to a general versus message for the 25th through the 1st. Please keep in mind that the time frame is specifically for me. And whenever you see this message, that is when you are meant to see it. It could be past, present, or future. Please only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Do not force the story to fit. Also, you are on the right and your person is on the left. Um, but depending on you know how it resonates it could be vice versa especially if you are a cross watcher all right let's go ahead and jump into it right now i'm getting neutral energy for you and your person during this time all right thank you spirit for kind of this messages for sagittarius so, rising. okay yeah so i tried to hold it right all right so we got virgo here in the reverse um you could be dealing with the Virgo or you could be releasing a Virgo here. It says humility, integrity, details. It says you're unique and your life is your own. Build a routine that works for you and help, and help stabilize your life. Um, for some of you, I feel like somebody could be a bit controlling um, of you during this time. Not really wanting you to access your fun, um, adaptable nature because um, just like Gemini, you are a mutable sign. Uh, we have fun, adaptable, energetic, a playful child within you wants to come out and play. Acknowledge your inner child. So don't be serious all the time. Understand that it's all about duality. Some of you could be dealing with the Libra here. All right, let's see. Thank you, Spirit. Give me three more. Thank you. Oh, okay duality decides to come out cool all right so we got hidden enemies be aware of your environment there are people who are selfishly motivated in your life who are not your friends so be mindful of that sagittarius um i also just got somebody could be trying to talk to your person all right that you're cool with okay we have bottled up what have you been ignoring, denying, or avoiding? Whatever you're protecting, release it and free yourself. All right, so stop um, keeping your feelings to yourself. Be honest with yourself and others in regards to how you feel. We got open portal. I'm here, like, open your mouth, though. Doors are opening for you. This is the time uh, when you can achieve a lot and make big changes. So, you know, be open and honest about yourself, about what you want and how you want to move forward and be your true and full self um, with duality here. It says it's time to face your dark and your light, your limitations and your strengths and see how your duality plays in your life. Um, also, um, this can be your person's energy, but I'm just getting heavy y'all real right now. We got not for you in the reverse and hand of fate here in the reverse, okay? Uh, it says, this is the time to accept what you desire is not meant for you. Something much better is on its way. Focus beyond your, focus, forces beyond your control will intervene, but you, but you still possess the freedom to choose how you will respond. So this is in the reverse, okay? So I'm getting that, um, whatever you desire will come to you. And, but you still have the choice to choose. All right, so we got communication here and differences. We also got player at the bottom over there. Now, I feel like a lot of you, um, maybe you and are dealing with someone that you're a lot alike, maybe another fire sign, Aries the Osage, and this is someone that you could possibly not be speaking to because of, you know, stubborn and because of their nature, okay? It also could be because you are punishing them, getting back at them for not uh, doing something you know, how can I say that? For not stepping up to the plate is what I just heard. So for some of you, I feel like, but it wasn't meant to last or shit. For some of y'all, it is meant to last. Like you're, you're tired of dealing with someone. So you're going to treat them like they treat you here. Um, I also have projection here, apology, someone wants, wants forgiveness. Your life is a projection of the energy that you're putting out. So maybe they are going to apologize, hoping that you apologize to them. I'm also getting if someone stepped out on the connection or left you in behind for someone else. Um, they're realizing that the grass is not greener on the other side, okay? Let's go ahead and get your person how they view this situation. Damn, we got not for you again. 
this is not for you let's not continue this madness um it's best that we just move on it says ascension here spiritual path awakening we have financial support in the reverse it says child alimony government then we got stuck in the past someone is stuck in the past so this person could be stuck in the past of things that um yeah, they could feel like you're not for them because of things that went on in the past, possibly some financial issues here. I'm also getting that maybe this is someone that you rely on for finance, financial security or they rely on you. All right. Um, and now that they've gotten, you know, the security that they want, they're moving away from it, moving away from the relationship here. Or, or they feel like you're moving away from the relationship, but they always try to bring up the fact that they helped you out or they did some shit for you when you were down or some shit like that. Um, I also feel like uh, somebody maybe needing government assistance or be or maybe putting you on some sort of child support or taking you off or something like that. Let's get more here. Thank you. Thank you here. I guess I this. Thank you. We got the nine of wands here. Nine of wands, that is the wounded warrior's energy about like persevering, even though it's like a determination to succeed against all costs here with the um with the the star card Aquarius energy there and that is definitely all about you know feeling hopelessness right also feeling like things aren't progressing like this person wanted things to progress in a certain way that they did not and they do not like that because there were plans here um, that were supposed to take off and they never did the relationship had a lot of put potential but things never happened the way that they should have or the way that they feel like they should have. All right, we got the Ace of Cups here and the Two of Cups. So it's definitely an energy of there being someone with a strong feelings here, but they're unrequited, okay? Um, could be dealing with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the um, Ace of Cups here, but I feel like there, there is some disconnect. Um, it also may be a bit of codependency here. Um, but I'm also getting is like you and this person clash a lot, even though that there are there is love here. You guys um, definitely clash, and it's but it's like it's never really over when you like break up to make up type of shit that y'all do. All right, so let's see how you view the situation. We got new perspective here in the reverse. It says I'm seeing us with new eyes. It's also clear now. So you're not <laughs> negotiation in the reverse. It says bargaining and begging. Definitely not. We got leveling up here. You're leveling up in your life. All right. And then we got kicked out. Someone is getting kicked out the house. So I feel like maybe you're kicking someone out or you're getting kicked out here because you refuse to beg to deal with someone or um, beg for a second chance or some shit like this, but it's okay because you're leveling up or at least this is how you feel. You feel like this person or this relationship with this person isn't as important as they deem it to be for a lot of you. Um, it's also a sense of like, you not giving a fuck about this shit no more. Like you're tired of like somebody holding something over your head here. All right. Thank you. Thank you messages. I'm also getting like this person could be getting kicked out of something after they had could have kicked you out of something in the past and now you're getting kicked now they're getting kicked out and now they need you here. Yes, yeah, see. Three of cups in the reverse. Yes, yeah, see. Nine of cups in the reverse. And then the knight of swords here, which is Aquarius's energy as well as Pisces, okay? So I feel like there's definitely an energy of there being some sort of disconnect. I feel like this person, like you could have stepped out on this person or maybe this person is overly jealous, right? Always trying to kind of isolate you and make it so that you can't really do anything or like have any fun without them, right? Um, which is something that really like, I feel like you'd be irritated by that shit, right? You get tired of that shit. That shit is overwhelming that this person is so smothering here. Especially because it's like you were interested in this person. You like them. You enjoy spending time with them and being around them. But now this person is making this shit a bit more obsessive than you would like. Um, it's like 
you you're always thinking of ways to kind of steal my joy you're always thinking somebody want me or some shit like that seven of pentacles here with the eight of wands here uh yeah so i feel like a lot of you put a lot of effort into this relationship trying to make it work but just the same you're okay with doing that elsewhere and i feel like right now you're manifesting growth and new opportunities here and there will be forward movement for you regardless no matter how much you know um how much bleach this person put on your clothes you're gonna find something to wear to an interview or something like something to get some money all right, let's see what their challenge is. We got shadow work. I'm exploring the inner uh, darkness to become a better person. It says pressure cooker, rage, ready to explode. So this could be somebody that always flies off the hinges, right? Um, because they haven't done the things that they need to do uh, to fix their emotional intelligence or to become emotionally intelligent. We also have fork in the road. You need to make a decision. And then we got leaving it behind in the reverse, leaving it all behind. So this person doesn't want to stop dealing with you, though. That's the thing. It's like they make it, they do all of this. They in, in, incite rage in themselves, making themselves upset because they're always jealous of shit that you got going on or always making something an issue that isn't. But then they don't go anywhere, which is deep. Okay, to say the least. But they, they threaten it. They threaten it. They're going to leave and never come back. But this is abandonment issues that this person needs to deal with. Yeah. Queen of Wands here, which is um, Aries energy. Okay. As well as Taurus. Alright. I feel like this person really wants this relationship with you but they have a problem being their authentic selves and i don't i don't know what you could do about that i don't think you can really do anything to be honest all right yeah three three of one um, three of pentacles here in the reverse and that is what is causing shit not to work because this person can't be their authentic self and they and they struggle to always be in control which is why you know they may uh, be assisting you financially because that, fit, that to them, it makes them feel like they, they have the upper hand in the relationship then, right? If, if they're doing uh, more in a certain area than you are, then obviously they have control over the situation. All right, seven of wands. Yeah, see, this person has a lot of pride, you know? And, but they all, it doesn't, but they still want this relationship to work, even though, they put you through all of this shit. They still want this relationship to work with, which is crazy as hell. Six of Cups here in the reverse and the Magician card. Gemini, Aries, Energy. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries. But with the Six of Cups in the reverse here, I feel like, you know, this person could have been dealing with a lot of childhood trauma, which is the things that this person struggles with, which is why they kind of throw tantrums and all of this and have some sort of like anger, anger issues in regards to abandonment here, because these are things that they never worked on within themselves. Okay, so this is why you guys kind of go back and forth with them and have the issues that you do. Let's get your challenge here, um, Sagittarius. All right, so we got liberation here. I'm setting myself free and embracing new experiences. So, yeah, y'all are kind of over this shit. It's like, why the fuck do I keep putting myself in situations with motherfuckers like this? All right, we got trash disregarding throwing out here. Yeah, you're trying to leave this shit the fuck alone here. You're trying to loosen the grip that this person has on you here. Grip, anchors, chains way down. See what I'm saying? Um, then we got toxic family. The family dynamic is, is toxic. Then we got performer, industry. Um entertainment some of you could be in the entertainment industry but for majority of you i'm getting the fact that you're tired of acting like you give a fuck you're tired of acting like you care about this person or this person's feelings uh just to get what you want out of this situation or just to um kind of play nice like walking on eggshells because you may love this person you may want to be with them but it's like god damn like i shouldn't have you do too much you do too much and i shouldn't have to do this much with you that's the energy I'm getting. Like, you do too much, and um, I don't want to have to do this much with you. Give me the challenge here. Okay. Thank you. Page of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, see? It's like, <laughs> it's like, damn. It's like, I, hmm. it's like this person gives you, like, hella anxiety, okay? Because of the mind games here, I always got some shit to say. This person could be quite petty here. You could also feel like they're childish. Some of you could also have um, 
um, a child with them, possibly a, a, a air child, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. Um, we have the emperor here in the reverse. You could be dealing with an Aries here, or you could be dealing with your child's parent. You could also be dealing with someone that is very like, uh, on some like power hungry type shit, always wanting to be in control of a, of a situation. This person has control issues here, but they always play the victim as well. Thank you. Some of you could have been dealing with an old boss, like that's who you were dating. All right, so we got the King of Pentacles here with the Ten of Pentacles that came out together. Okay, that is Virgo's energy there with the King of Pentacles, as well as Libra's energy. I feel like this is a situation where it's like, hmm, it's like, how can you be such a dick to somebody and want to be in this high level of a connection with them you know it's like you want to be in my skin so bad but you also want to be rude as fuck to me egotistical you know what i'm saying um arrogant acting like i need you also you you wonder why that i won't um fully commit to this relationship but that's why because I want a harmonious relationship, but you make it hard to have that. So I have to act like we got that, even though it's all this bullshit behind. Yeah, see, the um, tower here with the King of Swords, which is Gemini's energy, as well as Cancer. And Aries energy with the tower in the reverse. And see... That's like being being in denial here. Somebody that says something, whatever they want to say, do whatever they want to do, but then try to act like they ain't say or do that shit. What? What? No. No, we're not going to do that. We're, look, look, we're not going to do that. You're going to have to balance that shit the fuck out because you're going to have to do a little bit better than that because we're not, we're not going to play those type of games where you try to act like nothing happened. That shit did. All right, let's see what actions your person will be taking towards you during this time here. All right, so we got love hate here. It says, um, I'm angry, but I still love you. I just hate what you do. Okay, so hate love, that makes no sense. We got single in the reverse. Uh, current status available, that's in the reverse. We got desire in the reverse, less sexual chemistry. Um, we got love affair, dirty little secret down low. We have alien in the reverse, telepathic dreams or songs. We got archangel Michael, protection, prevented from harm, divine intervention. Then we got skeleton, secrets are about to be revealed in the reverse. So some shit is not fucking coming out, um, even though it fucking should be. Because I feel like a lot of you... This person um, could be on your ass about doing shit, but they really doing shit and dealing with other people. But it's like, I guess, your shit more out in the open or some shit. Um, and they can't shit. It's like, don't let you say something about that shit. Then it's going to be a real fucking problem. Um, let me see. Because I really also think like maybe some shit happened in the past where you stepped out in the connection. And they won't never let your ass forget that. Like if you can't never let me forget it, then don't take me back. Pisces energy with um with the high priestess here. Okay, because I feel like if you're going to be so fucking big mad that you got to keep holding this shit over my head, then keep your, look, keep yourself with yourself. Okay, I don't need that type of fucking problems. All right, let's see. Give me more about the actions. I also feel like they're not gonna they're gonna wait for you to talk to them. They're gonna act like they can't talk right now, type shit. You know, like they can't they can't handle conversations right now. Seven of Cups in the reverse here. Yeah, they're gonna try to act like they don't care, which is a, like on some childish mind game playing type shit. Okay, okay. But it's not fucking over. Ace of Wands here, Aries Leo Sag, you could be dealing with those signs. It's also the world here, which is Capricorn, Energy, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio. It's not fucking over. Okay? It's not over. 
I could feel like they, they're trying to, like, keep sex, keep from having sex with you or some shit. Yeah, Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, they're still on that same shit. We just seen them. That's crazy. That shit came up twice. Let's see your actions towards them. Manifesting. It says, I am manifesting loving and meaningful relationships. So your ass is trying to get the fuck up out of Dodge. Divine, um... Divine masculine here in the reverse. So some of you could feel like this person is your karmic here. It could be divine feminine. It's not gender specific. Halloween here, something significant about this holiday. Again, like I said, you could you could have like a, a air sign kid with this person. Um, it's also it's also the energy though. Like um, somebody could be um, you could just be kind of masking during this time and like keeping up appearances. Just so you don't have to deal with this person's shit. Because it's like, I'm so fucking tired of you, bro. Like, I'm so fucking tired. See what I'm saying? Ace of Cups in the reverse. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Like, I don't think that you are even interested anymore. But you're still dealing with this person. Because it's like, I don't know. Like, for some of you, yeah, you may need a little bit of help. But I really am, am getting that. It's like, you're just so fucking tired of this shit, though. It's like, this, this person definitely on their last fucking leg fucking around with you. Okay, because I think that a lot of you are starting to walk away from this situation, or you will be very soon, because you're tired of the breakup to make up shit. You're, it's emotionally exhausting here. Yeah, look at that. Ace of Wands here, which is Aries energy, as well as Taurus. It's like, yeah, you're, you're, you're manifesting newness. You're manifesting happiness, abundance here, duality. Something that's better than this shit because it's so fucking weird. Like, that's that's all. It's so fucking weird. Um, cancer energy here with the moon in the reverse. And I'm really getting that. You guys kind of just want to leave these illusions in the past. It's like you want everything to come out and for you to be able to move forward. At least that's your plan here. You want things to be balanced out here. Okay? You, you want things to be equal. Like... And for you guys to be able to move forward like that. But you you know that it's probably no chance in here that that's going to really be able to happen. A lot of you going to kind of decide to walk away from the situation because of it. All right. Let's see what signs y'all are dealing with during this time here. Thank you. Spirit for Clampus. That's messages. Well, Sagittarius, I don't know if it is Mercury. Okay. And this could be Aries. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe I was dealing with Aries. This could be Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. Thank you. All right. So we got Gemini. So you could be dealing with the Gemini. All right. We got Neptune, which is Pisces. We got Air, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. We got Mercury, Gemini, Virgo. And then we got the Sun, Leo, Energy. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. And I'll see you in the next one, Sag. Bye.